welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today we're going to build a water wheel. Water almost always flows downhill. You can use that potential energy and turn it into kinetic energy with a water wheel. People have used water wheels for a long time to make work easier, like grinding grain and shaping steel. First, to do this experiment, you'll need to collect some materials. You'll need a large mixing bowl, like this one. <laughs> you'll need two paper plates, or you could use cardboard wheels. Next, you'll need two empty egg cartons, or one empty large egg carton, like this one. You'll need two rollers, or you can use paint sticks. You'll need a small round stick. You could use a dowel rod like this one, or you could use a barbecue skewer like this one. You need two spools. I have nice, neat wooden ones, but you could also use use plastic ones like this one. It'll work. It'll work just as well. Finally, you'll need a stapler, some duct tape, and some plasticine or putty. You'll also need some scissors to cut out the bottom of the egg cartons. The first step is to cut these little cups out of the egg carton. You'll need to cut out 13 of these cups for your water wheel. The next thing you'll need is one paper plate and, and the stapler. You could get an adult to help you with the stapler. First, put your egg carton right here on your paper plate facing facing out on this side like this and then staple it. When you're stapling, make sure you don't have a dip on the other side of the cups because you're going to attach it to another plate. I finished stapling the cups to this side so now we're going to staple it to this side like this. Now we have both sides of our water wheel stapled. Now you have to have an adult help you poke a hole in the center of each plate. Now you can st stick your barbecue stick or dowel rod through the center. And I'm just looking a little bit past the egg carton so that I can see so, so that I can see to get it through the uh, other side. Next, you put a thread spool on each side. You need to put your sticks or your rulers across the bowl. Now, put the two sticks on the water wheel on top of the sticks or rulers. Use your plasticine to hold your sticks or rulers in place. Now you need two long pieces of duct tape and tape them across your ruler so that your, your water wheel doesn't move. Test out your water wheel and make sure it can spin. Great, it works. Now all we need is a pitcher of water. And now the last step is to pour water on top and you'll have a turning, working, spinning water wheel. This is heavy. You could use a smaller cup or have an adult cup. I have a smaller cup. Now I'm just going to Pour it into each cup while it goes. Whoa, isn't that cool? It's moving. Maybe we should do it on this side. Potential energy is energy that's stored. The height of the cup is the potential energy. When we pour the water, it turns the wheel and changes the potential energy into motion. This motion is kinetic energy. You just learned how to build your own water wheel. <laughs> People still use water to generate power. Today we have water turbines. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my fun videos. And remember kids, science is fun! Oh, we could just do that. <gasps>